Am I live? I guess I'm live. Hey y'all. Got my snack set up. Um, I'm on Unity here. And today I'm gonna try to make a corn game or a corn harvesting game. Of course, probably I'm probably not gonna finish it today, but anyways. Let me set here. I'm still setting up my stream slowly. So um, let me just change the text here. Current activity. Setting up, setting up corn. Oh, hey, talks bar. Setting up corn harvesting mechanics. How's the audio? How's every how's how's um I don't know how how's how's the the music versus voice? Is everything good? Let me open my own stream here. Cool. What do I do in this game? You harvest corn. That's what you do. I'm eating corn by the way. Okay. So I have a basic scene set up where you can, let me just move this here, where you can move around like it creates a bunch of corn. Big ass corn field that was testing the limits. No music can be heard, okay. In that case, a little bit of music. Can you hear now? Oh, now the music's fading away. Okay, now there's some music. Yeah. I want it to be quiet, otherwise I can focus too much, but... Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, so I generate this big-ass corn field with how many objects? I don't know if I can count. Oh, I can count objects. I'm testing the limits here, but it's generating 4,000 uh, corn plants, and it's running at... Um, 300 FPS, which is pretty good. I'll find a way to like make it endless. So once once you reach the other side, like once once you get to the other side, it keeps it keeps jet like looping the map around. But I, I gotta figure out if it's fun first. Okay, so um. Yeah, so for now, yeah, big corn simulator, that's that's what it is. I'll just put some some fake some fake ground here so I'm not looking into the void. There's no physics or anything. The car is just floating. So I just put a quad. Where's my quad? Caves of quad. I'm gonna scale it to tremendous amounts. So like maybe 4,000 on each axis. And then I'll move, what? Oh, like this? Yep, oh. Why is it, why is it black? Um, I have a material here called green. I'll just apply it to there. I don't understand why is it black. Why it is black? Um, oh, because this Z is on the zero. Sorry. Yeah. So now I got this green cornfield. It's kind of jink. I'll move the player. <coughs> Sorry. Move the player to the center. Okay. Now I got a little bit of a cornfield going here. All right. So lighting. No, yeah. Turns out it was not lighting. 
But actually, uh, since you talk about lighting, let me remove the lighting from this material here. I'll just make it unlit. Like everything else. Yeah, there's some uh, white edges here on the corn. It's fine. I just figured that out later. Let me also change the tone of green here. Yeah, this is fine. Is it going to revert? No. Okay. Cool. So the idea is I want I want this this little truck to have mechanical arms that collect the corn. I want it to look cool like a little alien robot. So what I will do Let me actually just see something here cuz I think yeah, this doesn't have to be this big. Yeah, two two fifty six is okay. And then one twenty eight, one twenty eight. Okay, now it's perfect. Cool. Right, nothing happens, but I will code the functionality. So. Let me hop on Blender. Uh, let me change the thing here. Yeah. So I'll actually, let me just make a quick texture here on Krita. Like five seconds, let's see. Yeah, I know you're not, you're not seeing anything, but it's gonna be quick. I already gotta find a way to st stream this properly, but for now it should be okay. Corn, corn, corn. I saved this texture. Okay, now on Blender. Oops, let me close WhatsApp because not supposed to be open. Okay, so I got the corn here. Now I'm gonna make the the arms for the the corn harvester. Real quick stuff. Um, let me apply the material here. Corn. Just update it and then let me just. Uh, I think I go to UV editing and then I go to select the faces UV reset. I think that's it. And then I go here. This is incorrect. It's like this. Yeah, this is very shitty for now, but first gotta test if it's fun. Get rid of this, get rid of that. Let me actually make it like a triangle kind of thing. Yeah, so this will be like a limb. Whoops, like so. And then there will be another limb and a joint in the middle, which will just be as usual a smoothed out cube. Like a little robot arm. Yeah, this is fine. I'll just uh, UV map it as well. Oh, let me apply the, the modifier. If you guys have any questions about the process, just let me know. Let me change the string thing here. Oh, sorry, that was not. 
Yeah, I'm still working on it, but uh, modeling, corn harvesting, mechanical lens. That's the title. Cool. So let me just project from view as usual. Let me apply the material to it. Then I'll select this. I'll just make it like this. It's fine. And this limb will get smaller. This one will get a little smaller. Uh, I guess I'll make them the same thing. So, yeah, like this. And then at the end will be the little arm, the little head, I mean. It can be really simple. I can make like a cube. Everything starts as a cube. And then scale it down, then scale it like this, and then add some subdivisions. And then I do it like this. And then I do something like this, maybe, yeah, maybe it should be like this. And then just merge this at the center. And then I'll just move it to the origin point here. So then it kind of like, actually it needs to be kind of like, Nyak, nyak. Yeah, something like that. Just move it here, scale it down. Then I rotate it. Uh, maybe it needs to be a little like open like this. Yeah, it might not work, wait. I don't know if I should make like a double one, like just two. Or if I should make like, a, you know, like two like this. Yeah, I'll just make like a two because it, it, it then like you can grab the corn kind of like this. Yeah, cool. So also I forgot to UV map it. So I'll do that now. Apply the material. I just use the same material as the other one, but a little darker. That's okay. Yeah, for now it's okay. <laughs> Two is good, more cartoony. Yeah, I agree. Cool. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'll just delete everything because I just need these three parts. Three parts. I don't know why I said it like that. Um, okay, cool. Just put it in the center. Export to. I'll call it arm arm claw. Dot FBX. Apply unit. Ba ba ba. Okay. So this one, I'll also move it to the center. Arm elbow dot FBX. And the other one will be named arm, 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 arm. Okay. Now, Back to Unity. Gotta remember to change the windows on the thing. Okay, so let me also change the activity. Setting up corn harvesting arm. Okay, so this requires some knowledge on inverse kinematic stuff that I 
always forget how to do but for now just create an object for the arm boo weird stream unsub boo yes thank you toxfire for the input mm. okay so i have here the models so i'll make the arm So it's gonna have the arm, the elbow. And then another arm. Um, okay, sorry, this. I don't even know if it's gonna work, but we'll see. I guess I'll just copy this, put as a child of this. Arm. I would just put like upper arm, elbow, lower arm, wrist, I think, and then the claw. Boom. Like so. Very nice. Okay. Now we gotta see if it, this is gonna work. It's a very big arm. Just reduce it a little bit in size. So you're gonna have to bear with me while I, while I watch some Bracky's video on <laughs> on um, IK because I, I I keep forgetting how to set it up. So let's try to. Okay. I think I have to download some package. Cool, so package manager animation rigging. Animation rigging, I think it's Unity Registry. Animation rigging found it. Install it. Okay, it is installed. Now let me just keep watching the video. Show the video? Okay. Let me try. How do I how do I show the browser? Um Yeah, okay. Mm, I don't think I can do that because mine is just like a few meshes. It's not like a proper. Uh, let's see, animation rigging, bone renders. Oh, it actually works. <laughs> the fuck. Okay. Um. Arm, upper arm, elbow, lower arm. Oh yeah, I see. It is taking the thing. Okay. Um. I mean, it's kind of divided weirdly, though. Let me remove I, I think I did it wrong. I think it has to start on the upper arm. Make sure you're getting bone. Um. Oh, I see. It's because it's starting at the center like this. Okay. Wait, did I? 
Mm. Corn, how's it going, BL? You know what? Let me let me leave some some corns around here to make it cool, just to fit the stream. How do I set up this goddamn thing? So, uh, I think I know. Let me set this up again. So I got arm. I got. Why? Why is the? Wait. Let me just go back to Blender real quick. Let me re-export this thing. <coughs> oh God. Okay. Let's try again. So arm. Okay. Now it's setting up on the proper origin spot. So inside the arm, it's gonna be the elbow. So upper arm, elbow, lower arm. If this works, it's gonna be so cool. Um, light, sure, whatever. Um, and then and then uh, wrists. Wrist. Time is a tool you can put on the wall or wear it on your wrist. Oh, it's Waffle. How's it going, Waffles? I just talked to you about um, Caves of Quad on Steam. Good to have you here, my friend. Wait, it was you, right? It's the same person. Am, am I not confusing you with someone else? <laughs> no, not the... <laughs> Don't have me I'm scared sounds again. Yeah, man. You know, you know how it be. You know how it be, man. That thing. Hey, welcome. I'm trying to set up a robotic arm here. Okay, let's see if it works now. Animation rigging, bone setup. Okay. All right, cool. Okay, let, let me keep watching the tutorial. <laughs> <coughs> oh, oh God. Sure, sure, sure. Wait, let me just follow the tutorial. Okay, sure. Rig setup. Okay. And if we click that, you can see that this is an object that is now under our character called Rig1 with a symbol Rig component. Okay. And this is where we're going to be building our rig. In other words, we are going to be adding constraints under this object. If, for example, we wanted the head of our character to be constantly looking at a... Sure, component, sure. This is what we want our aim. And I'm gonna... Okay, so let's see. Constraint... Uh, cons... Constraints. So there is chain IK. I think it's chain IK. No blend. Multi aim. Let me just try IK. Two bone IK. That's the one. Okay. So root is the upper arm. Mid is the elbow. And tip is the wrist. And then I think I need to add the hint. Which so the, the IK can point to the hint. So I'm gonna put it up here. So the elbow always points up. Because I'm imagining like a reverse spider or like an actual spider with a bunch of arms around it, like upgrades you can buy or something. So 
let's try this so rig one so the hint is the hint and the target i'll just add like a target here target and then i'm gonna add some um something here like this yeah so this is the target so hopefully it's gonna work first try here let's see Hello? Oh, uh, not particularly, but giant enemy spider. I love German men. Um, I messed something up. So I think if I go to the rig settings here, see, uh, no, oh. wait, uh, hint, wait, blah, blah, blah. Is it here? No. Weird. Like it, it is. It's like it's trying to, to work, but. So the root is the upper arm, the mid is the elbow. What if what if the root the the the, the mid is the the lower arm i don't know let's try oh uh, oh huh it doesn't make any sense hint wait target to the da. let me keep watching the video because I, I might have missed something He does the arm at one point, so... Okay, so his is working as usual. Mine is not. I think it's just the way I'm setting up the rig. So let me try arm. And then elbow is the mid and then low. No, wrist. Yeah, wrist is the left. Hmm. Now it's not even doing anything. Upper arm. Wait, is there another IK? Let me try chain IK. Whatever. So root is upper arm, and tip is the wrist, and the target is the target here. Let's see. Does it have a hint? Hmm? Like the the this doesn't move. What if, what if, um, I know, I know, I know. What if it starts with a ball? So like, it's like the shoulder and then it goes from there, see? So now the rig, oh, I gotta reset up the rig. Remove this, remove everything. Remove the rig, remove the hint. <coughs> <coughs> oh my god, I hate being sick, y'all. Oh, ah, where's my water? Sorry. Me, I'm not sick anymore, but I was, and it sucks. So, okay, so bone render is set up. Okay, we got this. Cool. So now we do rig setup. We have a rig, and then we're gonna do chain IK. Whatever that is, because I've never used it before. And then a target here. And then let's see. 
Oh, I think I think oh. <laughs> Let's go. Dun, 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 bah, bah, bah. I want it to be like like up. I don't want it to be like down, but maybe it doesn't matter. Let's see. Okay, this is perfect. This is beautiful. Also, it should be like this. Yeah, very nice, man. Something like this, and then zero on both. Yes. So for now, just start with one arm on top of the truck. And then I'll, I'll try with more, so. Woohoo! Riveting gameplay. <laughs> okay. Um, so the targets, I just put it kind of like here. So it's kind of resting. Uh, you know what? Let me let me think of something. Mm. Okay, I have an idea. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. Okay, so check this out. Spring joint. Um, it's been a while, so I use this. Minus two. I do like minus three or something. Let me check this. No, that's that's not <laughs> that's not what I meant to do. Sorry. So I'm gonna do. Empty object called spring. Then I'll do a spring join. And then it's gonna be minus three, one, let's see. Okay, this is not this is not. Oh, okay, sorry, there's a rigid body here. Mm. Let me add like a. Mm. Let me add a way to visualize it because I can't see shit here. Just add like a, a ball or something. Sphere. Oh. Mm. Oh. Hmm. Oh, whatever. Um. I'll just add the target to the spring for now. Let's see. <laughs> this is very weird. Ah, okay, sorry. It's not following. It is not. It is not following the truck. How can I make it local? I think I need to add like a rigid body. So, so the player, I'll just add like, uh, since the player doesn't move by physics or anything, I'll just add like a kinematic rigid body. And then on the spring, I'll connect that. So let's see. If it moves along with it. Yeah, but it has to be less like wobbly. So I just add damp damper one or something. Spring like one or like maybe 20. Maybe 50? I don't get it. I, let, let me let me see. Max distance maybe one. Why is it going like so low? You see like the spring is like here? 
but the target is like over there, so. I see connected anchor is the other okay wait riveting experience right here mm. you know what screw this I, I can do this later we'll just keep the target here remove the spring let's see I just dropped a corn on my crotch. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Cool. So. So now I need to add some intelligence to this. Um, I don't know how, let me think. Okay, so I just added like a simple script. Um, I'll call it arm brain. Crotch corn, crotch corn, yeah. That's the most despicable type of corn in the land. I'm eating my snack mix here. I don't know if you guys have bulk barn in your country, but if you wanna if you wanna replicate my snack mix, I'll tell you what to do. So you go to bulk barn. You're gonna go to the what's it called the snack grain whatever area, and then you're gonna get the following. One second. You're gonna get the green peas, which is code 000096, the roasted green peas. And then you're gonna get the wasabi coated green peas, but don't don't get the same amount, they get a little less than the green peas because they're very strong and spicy, which is code 000089. And then you're gonna get the um, What's it called? The um, I forgot the name. Let me just find it. Corn nuts. You're gonna get the corn nuts, which is called zero 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 nineteen. Salted, ideally. And then, lastly, just dry roasted peanuts. Just go 000117. And you're gonna mix that all. And then you have the Iggy mix, which I'm eating right now. So try it. It's really good. It's healthy. I don't know. I don't know if it's healthy. Probably not. It's very salty. But it's really good. Anyways, corn. Um, yeah, so I made the code here called Arm Brain. I'm gonna add it to my arm. The fabled mocks. Um, and I'm gonna open the script. And let's hop into Visual Studio. Um, so I'm here. I'm making a mess here, sorry. Then you get inspired to make corn game, exactly. <laughs> the, the fabled, the fabled, <laughs> the fabled corn mocks. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, 
Um, cool. So I'm gonna add a public transform. That's not the one. Oh, thanks, Bial. I made it myself. So transform target. All right. Mm, and then we need to detect when we're colliding with corn. So I just do. Hmm. How do I? Uh, I'll do on trigger enter. If other dot um, compare tag corn. Uh, then we'll just do like. Hmm. Corn position. So I'm going to store the position of the corn, the world position of the corn. So if I co collide with the corn. No, you dropped crumb on your call reserve. I did, man. It's like corn. Corn, 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 corn. So once I touch corn, I'm going to store the position of the corn. So other dot transform dot position. E no, sorry. Corn position equals other dot transform dot position. Correct. And then um, on update, I'm going to do if corn position is different than vector three dot zero, which it is always going to be, I think, or not. I'll, I'll have to fix it later. Then I'll just do target dot position equals corn pose. Very, very simple script. I, I, I don't know if it's going to work or not. But we'll see. Back to Unity. Um, let's see. So now I, I need the target here. Boom. And then I also need to add. Um, I need to add. Hmm. So I think I need to add a sphere collider to the arm so we can see kind of so i like a big sphere collider like this like six units maybe a little i mean i cannot see this this thing on the green here okay like minus three and then like maybe four Or actually, no. It needs to be centered because it might. It needs to reach the corn on the other side as well. So I'll just do like six, five or something. Okay. And then I'll make it a trigger. Am I doing this right? I'm not sure if I'm doing this right, but I'll open the prefab of the corn crop, and then I'll add a box collider. Just make it. Oh, this is fine. And then I'll add a tag called drumroll corn. Hopefully this doesn't kill my performance because I was able to instantiate 4,000 um, crops of corn and run in the game. But now that they all have colliders, let's see. No, no, performance too, okay. Okay. Cool. Let's see. Oh, you see, it's trying to reach for it, but it keeps switching. Oh, <laughs> I mean, it is. Oh, I see. It tries. It tries to do it. He tries to do it on every new collision, so it's gonna keep switching a lot. So I think I know how to fix this. I mean, it, it is kind of fun to see though. Okay. So I'll do public bool. Oh, let me go back here. Public bool. Holding corn equals false. So once it touches corn, then holding corn equals true. 
And it's only gonna do this if holding corn equals false. No smooth transition, like between the corn with the corn uh, things. If that's what you're asking. I'm targeting yeah yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna add smooth like a smooth thing but first I gotta make it work yeah no there's a there's a there's quite a little bit of lag it's fine um okay so maybe I'll do like if transform dot position no, if transform dot distance, no, sorry. If vector three dot distance, and then my position, the position of the arm, and then the so, um, the corn position is bigger than like five or something, then corn position equals vector three dot zero. This is a very janky code. Uh, like I'll try to fix it later, but right now I just want to see if it works. And then holding corn equals false. So maybe now it's gonna stay on on each corn thing. Oh no, it's kinda weird. I don't know what's going on. Maybe the the the, um, the collision is too too big or something. Yeah, maybe I'll do like three point five or whatever. You see, like this is what I want. I want it to stay. Also, the current position should should always be like higher. So, uh. Corn pose dot y equals like I don't know like let me try test something here so so the position of the corn should be the arm should be like like two point four okay oops didn't mean to mean to hit hit play. Equals 2.4. Oh, I'm back to the code, but I'll be back in Unity in a second. It's annoying to keep changing on Streamlabs anyways. So now I should ideally, yeah, now I should strangle the, <laughs> I should strangle the corn. <coughs> Fuck. This, this is kind of cool, yeah. Okay, now, now uh, somehow it's working now. See? Like, it's trying to strangle the corn. <laughs> it's actually kind of fun. This is actually pretty fun. <laughs> corn Strangler, the, the game. <laughs> let, me, <coughs> let me move back to the game window so I can see what it looks like. I gotta make it s s slower though. Let me reduce the speed of the player here. Uh, move speed like seven. Rotation speed like fifty. Have you tried? <laughs> Have you tried? If corn then thick. <laughs> yeah, I think that will fix the game completely. However, I gotta make it detach. Like, you see, like it's dragging a little bit. So I'll make it detach on a shorter distance, uh, like so. If the, the distance is greater than like 3.5 or something, F. Oh, and now it's not working anymore. 
So there's probably some fine tuning that I have to do. Oh, I see, because because the distance to detach is smaller than the distance to get it, so it's not getting it like ever. So it has to be like some really fine tuning here. I guess it comes down to the size of the collider. So the collider is 3.5. So I'll make it detach like 3.6 <coughs> or something. So it's gonna like be detached and dragging for like one frame before it moves to the next one. It actually will make the whole game for you. Yeah, exactly, just chat GPT, my friend. Okay, it is still broken. So let me try make it detach at bigger than four or something. Let's try. Oh, yeah, so now it's dragging a little bit. I, lo I don't like that, so. You know what, it's fine, because it's, it's gonna collect the corn anyways, so. Also, I need to make the actual wrist. I mean, the wrist is not gonna rotate, so let me do something here. So let me do an empty object inside the wrist. Wrist mover. And then I'm gonna add the claws inside of them, like so. So if I rotate the wrist mover, then it, it moves the, the thing. So what I will do, let me think about it. Um, what, what if I make, what if I make this always look toward the, the car so that it's always pointing away from the car? Maybe it's gonna look super weird, but let's see. So, uh, I'll do like a look at, a simple look at scripts. I'll add it to the wrist mover. And then I'll do like a simple transform.look at target, which doesn't exist. So I'll just do public transform target. Simple. Back in Unity, I take the wrist mover and I assign the target to the car. Of course, um, the wrist is gonna like look this way. So I think what I need to do is I need to like invert it, which is very janky, but you know, gotta make it work first. Uh, that's odd. Okay, I, th I think it is looking towards the car, but. Oh, I see. I'm on the full, on the wrong axis there. So I think I'll have to figure out which one is the proper one. I think it's the other side, maybe. Now I need to rotate it like this. Um, I don't like that, you know, the wrist is like in the middle of the corn, you know what I mean? I have an idea. Okay. I have an idea. I don't need, I don't need a wrist mover. I don't need any of this. What I need to do is um, uh, let me think. So yeah, I'll have to remove this rig here. Fuck. Okay. So the wrist will be an empty object under the lower arm, like this. And inside of it, like it will have the claw, like this. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna work, we'll see. And now I do the, wait, 
claw class and now I'll do the the rigging like this uh, so I'm not sure but sure whatever let's try so the tip is the this No, this is broken. <laughs> yeah, it's broken. Let me try again. Remove this here and then So if I do this, wait, I think it's not set up. Oh, is it? No. Rig one, the tip is the wrist. Mm. No. Okay, I think I know. Uh, yeah, I think I know. So. I just had I just had like a sub wrist object or something. Move it here. Make the claws children of it. And then I reset the rig. Mm. I'm not sure, but let's try. And then on the rig, the sub wrist is the tip oh ah oh. okay you seem to have worked but i gotta remove the claws from this thing here now it should work maybe okay okay now it's good check it out It is kind of weird how the claw is moving, but sure. Reminds me of the factorial uh, conveyor belt. No, sorry, the, uh, the the arms, the inserters. Get it, boy. Cool, so, okay. Okay, I think I know target parent. I'll just make another inside of it. True targets. And then, so the, the, the true target will be the, the child. So that way, we can animate the parent to do whatever we want, I think. No, wait. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, in the server robotics, we call that setting the tool frame or the TCP. Nice. Two center point. Interesting. Uh, where is the script? I forgot this or the script. Okay, so so removing the target parents, but then once we get the card, I'm gonna animate it like this. Like whoop. So let's try that. So I'm gonna create an animation for this called. Arm yoink. And then the yoink is gonna be like. 
I just animate it directly here. So it's gonna be this. Oh, why is it not animating? Uh, anyways, so shoulder, upper arm, elbow, lower arm, wrist, arm claw, transform, rotation. And the same for the other one. Shoulder, upper arm, elbow, lower arm, wrist, other claw, transform, rotation. So I just do something like little yoinky. And then close. Whoa. <laughs> that's not. <laughs> yeah, that's not. That's not what you want. Yeah, that's not right. Man, I hate I hate when it does that. Okay. I'll just do I'll do like a simple like Why is it not animating with the thing? Does it have its own animator? So weird. Hmm. I'll just do like a little movement, you see? And then this one is the same. So a little movement here. So I'll do like a like a snap. Yuck. Okay. And then I don't know if it's gonna work, but we'll go to the target parent, the true target, and then we're gonna move the position. Like down. Like so, whoops. Like minus one down. Maybe like I'll move like 0.5 up. So it, go it goes up. Then down. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to work, but let's see. So I'm going to go to the animator. I'm going to add a, an empty state, which will be the def default. And then when we want to, from any state, we will yoink it. I'll just call it like trigger. So when the parameter trigger is called, we will instantly play it and then go back to the yoink to the sorry to the default. So I think this should work. Let's try this. So I got my animation. Yeah, see. So whenever it gets a corn, it is very fast though. Omen. Hey, Omen. How's it going? Okay. It's jerking the corn. Yeah, he got to the stream at a very, at a very sussy um, stretch. <laughs> okay. So back to the code, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the arm brain. Uh, let me think about it. Uh, so I'm going to add an animator here. 
public animator called a nim. So when you touch the corn, I'm going to do a nim dot set trigger trigger. But that's the thing. Uh, uh, let me think about it. I also need to keep a reference of the corn that you're currently targeting. So public game object cor current corn starbound reference. So current corn equals other dot game object. And then here I'm going to do current corn equals no. And then I'm going to do a method called harvest, which when called is going to check if current corn, oh sorry, current corn is not null, then you will do the following. You will um, do current corn dot transform dot get child the first child and then set active oh wait dot game object dot set active false and i think that's that's yeah and also mm, i'm gonna go back to unity um i usually actually i need to make another script i usually make a script called an invoker see see i told you if corn thick it was there all along <laughs> exactly yeah man that's what i needed to be doing okay back to the code it's a very simple code this using unity engine dot events and then i do public unity event um, event A, then public unity event, event B, and I'll just do like two methods, public invoke, just kind of janky, but whatever, public void invoke A, and then I do event A dot invoke, and then public void invoke B. And I do event B dot invoke. So this is just just like an animation helper. So if I go back to Unity here, the ob object pooling wouldn't be the best if you use this on a big field. Yeah, I'm not sure how it's gonna work. Um, like right now, I'm just instantiating like a field with like four thousand crops, like this. Um, I want to make it run infinitely. So if I reach one end, it's gonna start spawning these on the other end but oh that's a what the fuck is this oh it's a bone what the fuck holy shit where is that bone coming from yeah there's a problem with my rig clearly let me remove it and let me create it again oh Okay, there's clearly clearly like an issue here. <coughs> oh. We make it out of the blender with that book. <laughs> yeah, man. Archaeologists would be proud of this big ass bone. Why? Oh, oh, it's creating a bone out of the rig one. That's not. Let me remove this all. Let's do it again. Okay, now it doesn't have the thing. So now let's set a rig again. And let's space this. Okay, now it should work. That was awkward. Cool. Cool. So now that we have the invoker, I'm going to add it to the arm. And then when we invoke event A, I'm going to call this method on armbrain called 
um, harvest. And when we harvest, uh, let me think. Yeah, I think I think that's it. Okay, I see. So now we go to the animation, and then, uh, basically at the end of the animation here, let me just put it on the bottom here. Yeah. So when the does the like nyak, that's when we're gonna harvest. So add animation events. Invoker methods invoke a so let's see if this is gonna work maximize on play How do I do maximize on play? I forget. I think it was somewhere Oh play focused play maximized I see That bone snapped to corn thingamajig. I remember using it for a space game made in the first game jam nice Oh Oh, the animator is not assigned. Here. <laughs> Thanks, Summon. Oh, I started by getting one corn. Oh, we're kind of doing it. <laughs> we're doing it. It's kind of, it's kind of janky, but. We can fix it, we can make it better. Let's go, we're harvesting corn. I guess what happens, I mean, I wonder what happens when I try to harvest a corn that has been harvested already. It just, it just like, it does a handshake or something. Okay, you know what, let's, let's add something else here. Let's go to the prefabs. Let's go to the corn crop. Our boy let's create a new animation for it call it crop harvested and then let's do like can be like a simple scale oh it's not animating now it is has to be like very fast you can make it exclude any already harvested corny corn. Yeah, I gotta make, gotta find a smart way to do that. Cause I, I I'm, I'm gonna have like a sort of like a database map that is gonna have the information on every corn, like how much it has grown and things like that. So maybe I'll just make it ignore corns that are like, that are not, you know, that are not mature or that are harvested already. Yeah, I'll do like something like this. And then I'll go to the animator, empty state, set as default. From any state you can harvest, remove the exit time and such, move back here. And then, oops, that's not the one, harvest, or rather trigger. Have you ever, have you ever heard of booleans, mon ami? We, oui, we oui, have, yeah. It's not, it's not so much about, you know, the type of data that I'm gonna store, it's just how I'm gonna store it in a way that doesn't just ruin the performance of the game. So, but that's a problem for later, it's fine. For now, I'll just, I'll just leave it as is. Um, and then, yeah, I think this is, yeah. So, when we harvest the corn, we're also gonna do other.getComponent.animator.setTrigger trigger. trigger. Okay, we're doing it. It's starting to look like a game. I just need to move the target smoothly between points. Now, a question that I've been asking myself ever since I started this. What if 
I do this. Oh, <laughs> holy shit! <laughs> yeah, you see that? That's why it needs to ignore the, the the harvested corns. I need I need a way to also flag corns that are in the process of being harvested or like are being targeted by one of the arms, so the arms don't go to the same corn. Uh, I mean, you can just store it in each one. It won't matter that much since games like Minecraft hold the blocks in a rather similar way, as in each block its its own value. Yeah, I'll figure something out, but you know. Here we go, corn spider. Yeah. Yeah, once I figure out a way to make the arms only look like touch corn that is not currently being, you know, uh, used by another arm, then I think it's going to look more like a spider. Spider Man 3 looks amazing. <laughs> exactly. I love how like all the arms just go for like one corn. Yeah, this is actually quite satisfying. Let me do something here. Let me go to the very, very simple map generator script that I made that right now just generates like uh, corn on a grid. And I'll just space them out like less. I'll just do like, instead of every four spaces, I'll do every two spaces. See how it works. Oh, it's laggy. Oh, it's very laggy. Yeah, but this is actually pretty cool. Like, if I go to the scene, where's the scene? Window, general scene. How do I freaking dock this scene? I don't know how to dock this scene, what the fuck? Oh, okay. Oh, now I have two scenes. Okay, I want to see it from the scene view. Okay, so let me just make a path of harvested corn. So if I minimize this... I thought you, you could see the path of harvested corn, but it's too much too much stuff going on. Uh, mm, I've got an idea. So, what's the idea? Tell me. I'm open to ideas. You know what? That's what I'm gonna do. Back to coding. Uh, let me make a script called corn. Corn behavior. Let me apply it to the prefab of the corn crop. So corn behavior. Let me open this script and let me do the following. Public bool is available. I guess that's it. Yeah. <laughs> so now I go to the arm brain. I'm gonna have to do a nested if, which I don't like, but yeah. So corn behavior equals other dot get components corn behavior. And then if corn behavior. Oh. Sorry, I forgot the camera casing. If corn, 
Oh, okay, sorry. Rookie mistake. If corn behavior dot oh god damn it dot is available so it is only gonna do that those things if the corn is available so so is available so corn behavior dot is available equals false you can simply just add a statement before the code that makes the hand snap and just have a value of available or something on the corn. So if the corn is available, then you can grab it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, we thought the same thing. Um, I had something like this in mind, but later on, I need to figure out how to do this, you know, in a way that I can save the game later. But I'll just probably make like an array of booleans or like a bi-dimensional array of booleans or something. Anyways, okay, so it's available because false. Once you harvest it, I'll change cur current corn. I'll do like corn behavior. So it's not going to be a game object, it's going to be the script. Uh, equals, and then like here, I'll just remove here. So. Corn corn equals corn behavior. Okay, so if it's not null, another nasty if, I'm sorry, current corn dot is available. No, sorry, this is not right. I'm gonna do current corn but is available was false yeah I think that's it hex JSON files exist by the way yes I'm aware like th there are many ways to do it um, just gotta think it through because um, it can be annoying if it's not performant later but right now I'm just worried on uh, if it's gonna work or not. I'll think about the the safe formats later. Like I don't even know exactly how the game is gonna be, so I'm, I don't want to commit to any one system. Uh, cool. So let's see if it's gonna work. Now they're not doing. Oh, uh, sorry. I think because none of the corns are available because they're starting as. Let's see here. Yeah, they're all they're all not available. They should be at the start. I thought it would be like upgrade as you go along the game. Yeah, I mean that's definitely on the table. Um, definitely thinking about it, but I'll just. I'll just go as I, you know, just think about it as I go. Whoa. Okay, now, oh, now it's pretty cool. Now it's just collecting everything. You see, none of them are going to corn that is already. Yeah, now they're, they're not going for the same corn there. That's pretty cool. However, I want to make... Uh, I want to make an animation of them like collecting the the corn let me just go back to one arm for now uh, okay I'll add, a, I'll add a um I'll add a boolean called busy so once once you do all this then busy equals true and once you harvest then busy no sorry uh, public void put away you know what um Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. 
Uh, I'll go to my prefabs. I don't have it yet, so I'll just add a corn here to the scene. Hello. And then I'll add it to my prefabs. I don't think I'm gonna need it on my prefabs, but whatever. I have an idea, but I don't know if you can do it in Unity since I didn't use it since 2020, but I'm making a lean towards the spider thingy's body to imply its its force. Making a lean toward the spider. What? Like what? What should I, I don't get it. What should lean towards the the spider? I don't think I understand. Reset the position here. Mm -hmm. This ain't no Kojima moment or anything, but I, I meant the corn should lean fo toward the spider body to imply Oh, okay, yeah, maybe, maybe, um, yeah, th that, that's like polish, but th that would look pretty cool, yeah, for sure. Uh, package manager, you know what, let me get iTween, I'm gonna need a good old iTween. My assets, iTween. gonna do some cool stuff here cool so now that I have my tween what's the name of the thing was it fix uh... oh, I forgot the name wait did I truly install it or did I import it? I did. Uh, by the way, are you only an indie dev or do you make bigger stuff? Since you are pretty good IMO. Um, not, not really like, I'm, I, I don't even know if I'm an indie dev. I don't have any solo released games. You know, I have work in, worked in the industry for like a while. But mostly in QA positions, like I've done design, but I've, uh, like I've done 3D design, coding, uh, in different capacities. Mm. I work for companies of different sizes. Um, but yeah, I just I just like making games. So far, none of my games have you know have shown too much pro promise, I guess, or maybe I didn't have the willpower to finish them. But I like ex experimenting. I'm trying everything until something sticks. But they sorry for talking a lot. No, it's fine, man. It's nice to have someone chatting on the on the stream. It makes things less uh, less quiet. But yeah, I've just been using Unity for a long time. Um, wait, what was I doing? I forgot. Uh, oh, I tween. Where the fuck is I tween, man? Yeah. Sample. Okay. So now let's try making the arm move slowly. So I got the iTunes script here. So I'm gonna do arm brain. Oh, I'm choking on some corn husks. <coughs> oh my god. How fitting for the stream, huh? <coughs> it's been three years now that I'm working on this game of mine. We made a studio OW production productions. We have a studio and all, but still we are too far from finishing it. Yeah, can you show your game? Show your show me your game, man. Let me let me take a look. Oh god. <coughs>
for the best f for the five best five months we did nothing but cutscenes. It's getting frustrating. Show me those cutscenes, man. Let me see. Okay, I will try uploading some unlisted to YouTube. Yeah, man, do you guys have like a website or something? I would love to like take a look. Oh, let me go to ChatGPT because I'm getting lazy to code stuff, but uh, to make an object move smoothly to a position instead of instantly. Cool. So this part here, I'll just do corn position. I'll just do like 0 0.5 or something. I think this should work. Oh no, we don't have a website since I said a publishing company wants it to be a surprise release. Oh, so you guys have a publisher. That's pretty good, man. This is not working. Uh, let me go to... Okay, let me go to Unity. Yeah, I mean, if you guys have a publisher, that's pretty good already, man. Okay, I'm gonna show everything tomorrow. It's 1 p.m. in France. Oh, that's why you call me Mon Ami. Um, let me let me try to let me try to talk to you in French. Um, bonjour, Mon Ami. Uh, comment ça va? Je vais bien, merci. Nice. Okay, that's that's all the French I know. Other than that, bonne nuit. Oh, that's that's the one. That's the one. Bonne nuit. See ya, Omen. Uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks for watching, man. Thanks for chatting on the stream. I appreciate you, man. French people are the best. I love French people. I love France. France is the best country in the world. And the French are the best people in the world. Uh, okay, now white. This is not... Moving smoothly. This doesn't make any sense. This doesn't make any sense. Okay, let me do if current corn. 
It's not null. Okay, let me space the corn out again because this the the low frame rate is, is killing my brain. New map gen. Let me do four. Every four spaces. Okay, it's still not moving smoothly. Position one, position. Um. Oh. Okay, so I think I messed something up. Back in Unity. Arm Brain. Let's do. Uh, oops, I did something here. Shit. Uh, wait, wait. Float T. I'll do 1. Or 0 0.5. And then I'll do here T. I think it now it should work maybe. Okay, it's not really moving. Oh my god, I don't know. This is supposed to be like a simple script. Uh Okay, let's go back to the coding. So target that position equals vector three dot lerp. Corn position. Correct. So corn position, which is set here. Oops. Mm, wait. Yeah. So corn position one point. Five zero point five time. I don't know if this is gonna work, but okay. Now it is working. It's very, it's very slow. <laughs> yeah. So if I make it a little faster. I'll just do like public float arm speed equals like two and then I'll just do arm speed. I'm in code, but I'm going back to Unity real quick. So that's why I didn't change the window. Cool. So now it should work properly. Still moving very slowly. So I got to make it move a little faster. Arm speed five, let's try that. Now it's work is kind of weird because it's not locked in place. Let's try ten, maybe. Let me 
change something else as well. Because right now I'm just getting like an arbitrary position from the corn. So. Okay, so when I generate the corn, so corn behavior, I'm going to have a vector 3 called cob position. So on starts, cob position is going to be equals to a transform dot get child, the first child dot transform dot position. I think that position is fine. Yeah. So now it's going to store the position of the first child of the corn, which is very, it's a very weird phrase to say out loud, but the first child of, of the corn is this. So it's going to get this position exactly. Uh, so we have the cob position. And then on the arm brain, the position, the corn position is gonna be corn, corn behavior, fuck, corn behavior dot cob position. I think that's why the the arm is not moving properly to the corn, because some corn are rotated. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of sussy, but weird and sussy. <laughs> Let me go back to the arm. Let me do arm speed 15 or something. A little better. Sure. It's working a little better now, but we'll see. So um okay so i'll do this so i have an object here public game object corn held corn so once we harvest the corn held corn will be true Also, we're not going to get any new corn if we are busy, if the arm is busy. Oh, sorry, held corn, that's set active. True. So we're going to enable this held corn when we get a new corn, okay? Oh, we didn't assign it there, yeah. Okay, see? So it's like we're getting the corn now. She looks a little cooler. And now, since we're holding a corn, it doesn't do anything else. So that's perfect. That's what we want. Uh, and now, what we're going to do is we're going to do the following. I'm going to get our friend iTween here and once we get the corn we're gonna do iTween move by and then we're gonna do it targets uh, iTween hash and then shit I gotta go to the iTween documentation iTween documentation I think it's move to it's called move to yeah, so move, move to, and I'm not on the coding, sorry. So move to, uh, let me find an example, I tween move to example. 
I always forget how to do a twin. Yeah, so let's try this one here. So I twin move two, so target is gonna move uh, the position to another position, which we're gonna define here. So transform corn hatch. Everything is corn in this game. Corn hatch. East type is inside, whatever. In uh, let's do it in one one second. Um, target dot game objects. I walk away, and now you're holding court. I may um, <laughs> am amazing. Nice pun. I love the pun. Very very good. So I'm going to do something cool here. So corn hatch. Mm. Let me think. Okay, so I'm using pooling system here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a prefab called falling corn. So I'm gonna add a rigid body here. But also, I'm going to do a self-destruct script. Shit, I'm in Unity. Am I not? I Sorry, I was in the code. Now I'm in Unity. Okay, so now you can see what I'm doing. Sorry about that. Uh, so Falling Corn is going to have a rigid body, but also it has a self-destruct thing. So pu public float timer load counter so on enabled on enable counter equals zero and then the counter plus equals time dot delta time now i'm in unity and i forgot to switch the code sorry time dot delta time it's a very simple code so when i enable this object it sets the counter to zero and then it starts counting up if the counter is greater than the timer then we're gonna do uh shit i forgot <laughs> let me find out uh where's the thing let me just search here on the script map generator that should be the one yeah pulling system dot destroy aps that's the code so self-destruct let me close all of these so self-destruct so pulling system dot destroy APS because we're using a police system here uh, game object counter equals zero again just to make sure and the timer will be like one or something Back in Unity, we will uh, falling corn here, which will dis self destruct in like two seconds or something. Oh, okay, so it did self destruct. Okay. So now we save the falling corn. So the corn hatch variable here, corn hatch, will be this one, corn hatch, where is it? Corn hatch. Okay, so it's gonna collect the corn. Let me go to the script here. So 
So when we harvest, it's gonna collect the corn. It's gonna put the corn on the hand of the claw, or on the claw, and then it is gonna move the claw to Huh, let me think about it. Uh, it's gonna move the, the claw to the hatch. And then on complete, I think it's like this, on complete. Uh, we're gonna call re release corn. Public void release corn. Debug.log, release corn. Cool. This should this should work, I think, maybe. We'll see. Oh, you see that? However, it did not call the method that we wanted, so. Let me check the oncomplete method here. I think it's not, it's like lowercase release corn. So once we release the corn, then it is not busy anymore and it can get more corn. Let's see. It is not calling the method for some reason. Oh. I think I know why. So it has to be on complete target like this. So we need to specify the target which has the method and then we'll just save this game object. And then on complete release corn. Yeah. Now it should work. Okay, release corn, so perfect. So once we release the corn, we will do held corn, whoops, held corn dot set active false. And then we will do a, we'll do this, so pulling system, Pulling system equals pulling system dot instance. Pulling system dot instant. Oops. Wait. How do I do this? Instantiate. Here. So pulling system equals pulling system dot instantiate APS. So it is. I forgot the name of the. Let me find the name of the falling corn. What's the name? Falling corn. Uh, hatch corn hatch dot position random dot range minus one eight uh, zero to three sixty like this. So now we go back into Unity, we go to our pulling system here. We are going to add the falling corn, maybe just like five or something. Also, these are not used anymore. So anyways, let's see. I think now the loop is perfect. So it's going to get the corn. Oh, check that out. <laughs> oh, however, it doesn't. Ah, uh, I see. It doesn't move it to the proper. Because it is trying to move, so it, it works if I'm if I'm still. See, but if I'm moving, it tries to to return the corn to the position that it's not there anymore. Also, <laughs> this is not resetting properly.
holding part equals false. I think it's this. Okay, this is uh, this is not resetting properly. There's some variable that is not being reset. So, holding corn, it is busy. Oh, it should not be busy though. Oh, I guess I guess if it doesn't, let me think. Is it equals false? I think that's the one. If it goes past the distance, then it's not busy anymore. And I was on the wrong screen. Okay, so let's try this again. Yeah, it's not working properly, but at least it's resetting properly, so. Oh, also, <laughs> the falling corn is accumulating speed forever, so I gotta reset the speed every time. Uh, so. Uh, rigid body. No, sorry. Get component. Rigid. You know what? I'll just I'll just have it assigned right away. So public rigid body RB. So on enable. Actually on on disable, I'm gonna do RB dot velocity equal equals vector 3.0 I think um like so you see like if I stay still it kind of works, but otherwise it doesn't move the arm to the right position. Also, I'll just make it move it faster. So I'll try to move it in like 0.3 seconds. It's just, it's just leaving the corn behind, man. Oh God. Okay. I guess that, that should be it for today, but I made good progress. Before I go, let me just do it, the thing again, which is really cool. Ultimate uh, corn spider combine harvester. Let's go. Okay, let me let me just make it more dense. Go to the script real quick. Uh, new map gen, and then I'll do two, two. Okay, so now it should be really, really dense with lots of corn to, to get. Holy shit. <laughs> this is actually pretty fun. Let me let me um, make the camera a little further away so we can see more what's going on. Actually, I'll leave it in the middle so we can see the tray of corn. Yeah. It is very slow, so let me re also reduce the number of corn by half, or actually one quarter. 
Because 128 in a two-dimensional grid is one quarter of... Oh. Oh, now the corner is all the way over there. Okay. You know what? One last thing before I go. I think it will, will be really cool to see. So once corn is harvested, it does like chook. And then over the next like two seconds or so, I'm just gonna make it like shorter and very thin. Like so. So it's gonna be like See? Check the difference that this small detail is going to make in the game. Wait. Oh, they're looping. Oh my god. I'm so dumb. Sorry. <laughs> um, let me go to my animations folder. Crop harvested and not loop. Also, the, the yoink animations shouldn't loop. That was silly. Now, watch. See? This is actually so cool. Okay, why are they resetting though? Oh, I know why. Because, um, if I go here, because once they're harvested, they go back to the default state and they shouldn't. So, this is incredibly cool. Let me space it out a little bit to see. Maybe every three. Also, let me make the corn hatch a little lower. And a little like forward. Like so. Oh, now the, the, the other arms are not reaching. I guess there's no, not enough corn for all the arms. So let me make it uh, 2.5 spacing. Oh. Oh, I guess it has to be an int, so I'll just leave it at 2. Man, this is this is this is very nice. Like I'm speechless. I'm actually super proud of this one. See, like I'm gonna let me just maximize everything here. I'll leave this size like this side like a mobile screen. Remove all the gizmos, everything. Look at him go. <laughs> oh, that is so cool, man. I want to make this into like a proper game now. Like imagine you just start with one arm and then you 
get a lot of corn and you sell corn and you clear the fields and you, maybe there's a arm that plants more corn like there's there's like nothing to it but it's very satisfying to just like just harvest corn this is the coolest thing man I'm just mesmerized. Like, I'm sure there is, like, something to this. Because it's fun to just, like, I, I don't know. Like, in, in kind of, like, a casual, relaxing way. Uh, not, like, a hardcore action game. But, like, that, like it is satisfying to just do this. Like, if, if I gamify this somehow, maybe... I don't know. Maybe this can be, like, a promising, fun little game. And it feels like a, like a streaming game, too, you know? For streamers to just, like, play while chatting with with people because it's it's very like at least for now you don't do much it's like painting on a canvas or something It's weird because I see some shriveled corn that have not been picked up, but they only shrivel after they're picked up. So there's some timing thing, maybe before the, the like the machine triggers the animation to, to get the corn, but then the arm moves out of reach after. So I, <coughs> so I have to iron out some of those quirks, but. Okay, one last thing, one last thing I'll add before I leave, because I actually got to go soon. Um, let me get some... Oh, where was it again? Let me find, look at my repositories here. Where was it again? Man, I, sw I, I swear I had a, um, a corn asset somewhere, like a corn logo. Let me go to the Udemy asset store. UI icon. Free. Um... Somewhere. There has to be like an RPG pack with the icon of a corn. Let me just look up, look for corn.
There's no freaking corn icon anywhere. Let me just go to gameicons.net, whatever. And then there surely will be corn. Got it. Let me just edit the image real quick. I know you guys are not seeing anything, but don't worry. Just save this to the project. Sprites. Corn. Cool. So now, um, I'll go to the canvas. I'll add a UI. Here, UI elements, an image. Let me pull this back. Corn counter. Turn this into a sprite. Apply. an outline uh, there's a, an artifact there I don't know what that is maybe it's something to do with the mip maps or whatever they're called but no matter no matter just move this to the left of the screen Like so, point one. Let me activate the, the stuff that I deactivated so I can see some. Yeah. So, this is the top, sure. Preserve aspects. God. Like this, and then UI text zero point zero five to one. Zero point one, I mean. Center, like so. Best fits. Five pixels on the left. Just make it bold. Just make it white. Just add a dark outline. I'll just add like a corn counter here. I'll change it later, but public int corn. Uh, public void add corn. Int i corn plus equals i. And then using unity engine.ui, 
I'll do like a public text corn counter. Public animator corn counter and M. And then corn counter dot text equals corn dot to string. And then corn counter an M dot set trigger trigger. Now go back to Unity. And then we're gonna do like a little quick little animation here called corn counter an M. This sounds this song, I don't know if you guys are hearing this, but it sounds like the Undertale. Um I forgot the name. The hotel no it's, it's raining somewhere else i think is the name of the anyways something like this like doop. has to be very fast i'll do a little more subtle Yeah, like this and then empty state which is the default go from any state into this with no exit time parameters i'm gonna add a parameter called trigger which is gonna trigger this and then on the animations here i'm gonna remove the loop time Then on the player, corn counter is this. And then the icon animation is this. So now check it out. I did, oh, I didn't add the script. It didn't, okay, sorry. So we go back to the arm brain. We'll add a reference to the player. Uh, sorry, it's uh, what was it again? Mover. Mover. Yeah, I know, I know it doesn't make sense, but sure. So mover dot add corn. This one. Cool. And also this value here is going to start at zero. Oh, forgot to drag the reference there. So all the arms are going to have a reference to the player now. See? Bang, 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 bang. Yeah, that's really cool. Oh, shit, sorry. Forgot, I forgot to go back to Unity. Anyways, see? Let me, let me make the animation more extreme, though. Uh, this one... It's gonna make it like, bam! Let's see. Oh, I think it wasn't it wasn't uh, saving the frame, the keyframe. Yep. Now it now now it's gonna be some. See, bang 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 bang. Last thing before I go, now for realsies. 
Uh, does it have these textures here? So this 64 by 64, 256. Yeah, let me do this one. So I have this texture here. So on my script of the map generation script, I'm going to do public texture to the text. And then I think I have something here already for this. Something like this one here. So let me do this. Here. If text is different than no. Uh, sorry, let me just check here. Match scriptable objects. Honestly, let me just do the following. So text dot width with text dot height. Uh, and then I'm gonna do float e float f equals texture dot get pixel. So it's gonna get the color of the pixel. Um, at x and y dot evaluate no dot grayscale that's the one if f equals one then we instantiate a corn if not then we don't that's it okay so now the map generator is going to need the texture here so let, let's put this this one yeah let's do this one this one here first let's see <coughs> oh it's not readable sorry yeah these have to be read and write enabled yes and this one too okay Oh, check this out. Interesting. Let me try to just make it bigger. Plus equals two, plus equals two. Like so. That's very nice. Uh, however, it's very small. So let's let's now do this other big texture here. These are pre-made textures that I made in Krita, but let's see. Let me not maximize this, by the way. Play focused. Move this here. Move this here. Move this here, let's see, like so, okay. Oh, check it out. Oh, that's so cool. See, now we can have like patterns. It's very nice. getting loads and loads and loads of corn yeah this has potential this this is uh you know I'm gonna sleep on the idea think of what i can do i definitely want to improve the arm system because right now it's kind of janky uh but this is definitely like a cool little prototype Okay, guys, uh, yeah, that's it for this stream. 
I think I string for quite a bit. And it was nice. It was a great uh, little prototype to do in uh, two and a half hours. So thank you so much for watching.